this, for anyone who hasn't been here before, this is the Open Mic and Whiskey Jar. This has been happening here for eight and a half years. Uh, God, I feel old. Um, so we, God, it's so it's so weirdly quiet in here. Usually, <laughs> usually there's somebody mumbling and, and having a whisper right now, and, and people don't really pay attention to me. Um, the reason this is the, the the famous Open Mic and Whiskey Jar. The reason everybody knows about this is because. Um, we have incredible musicians who travel from all over the country, not just from this city, but the, the best musicians from anywhere, they come here to play on this stage and they come give their time for free. And So that's number one, reason number one. Reason number two is the reason they do that is because the audiences are fucking amazing. Usually there's a lot of people in here um, and I have to kind of do audience control and all that kind of stuff, which is why it says, shut the fuck up and listen to music on the posters. Um, occasionally you might hear me say that to people uh, but probably not tonight. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so yeah, if if um, if you're up for spending a night just sacrificing your your social life to to the gods of music and just pressing pause on all the shit that you would normally talk about in a in a, in a pub, then we'll have a lovely night. You guys up for that? Yeah. <laughs> it's so weird. Uh, it will it will hopefully get busier in here tonight. I th I'm thinking that. There's a couple of reasons it's a bit quieter, um, and it's, number one is because the, 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 the street's getting all this construction stuff outside, so there's less people walking past, and so they're not hearing the, the noise coming from inside or looking through the windows and going, oh, that looks great. Um, the, other, the other reason is probably that um, I think we're in the last little window of the good weather, like our, our early summer that we've just had, which is probably not, not going to come back for another month or two, so everybody's trying to squeeze the last bits out of it in beer gardens all around the city. So it'll probably get busy later, um, but yeah, while, while, we're, uh, while we're here, we'll start off and um, we've got an amazing lineup of musicians for you tonight. Um, that young lady that just dropped off the piano with her mum as well, Natasha, she's fucking incredible uh, and it's a real pleasure. Oh, you get scared and embarrassed. <laughs> she's, uh, it's, you'll see, you'll see. But we've got an amazing lineup of artists for you um, I'm not sure what I'm going to play. What should I play? Kitty. Huh? Kitty, I can't even fucking remember that. I can't even remember my own songs. I'll do, um... Uh, there's a light. Uh, uh, yeah. We'll see. It's a song I wrote a couple of years ago. Yes. 
special occasions The words stay the same and the sentiment Well, it never changes He said I was a mess and I screamed in your face Well, you knew what you were signing up for Take the good with the bad You said bad's all there is anymore And somebody turned the light on to help me to find my way home. Cause I'm still alive. kind of applause you get at an actual country gig. <laughs> this is where that song belongs. Yeah. I lost my dog, I lost my wife, <laughs> ran away with my dog. No. Anyway, uh, so um, I hope you guys are up for a wonderful night of music. The one thing I would ask of you, you're, you're being fantastic in terms of what, what I need from you when the music is happening, if you can do for everyone else what you just did for me, that'd be amazing. But what I would ask from you is just to make as much noise and be as exuberant as possible when the artists finish their songs and finish their sets and it will not only lift them, it will lift you, it will lift the mood of the room and we'll all have a fucking lovely, happy evening. Are you up for that, people? Yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah. We all have this weird symbiotic relationship where like, 